you're going to be in Delhi, ma'am, and uh, I'd be failing in my duty if I didn't raise the issue that everyone in Delhi is talking about, the liquor scam. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen all the developments that have happened with Mr. Manish Sisodia being arrested. Your name has constantly been brought up. Your name has been mentioned in the ED charge sheet. The allegation is that you're part of a South group, a South cartel, if you may, uh, which was a part of the dealings in the liquor probe, in the liquor scam. What is your response to this allegation in particular? Well, I, um, uh, I understand and believe that today everybody in the nation knows that whichever pole-bound state is there, there have to be ED and CBI cases against the people and parties uh, who are against the Bharati Janta Party. Bharati Janta Party has been doing that time and again in every state. So my state and uh, me, uh, we are not an exemption. Not only me, uh, various other ministers and MPs in my party are also being uh, troubled by these agencies. But we are sincere. We have done nothing wrong. So we will fully cooperate with the agencies for whatever investigation that they want to do. We've always cooperated and we will continue to do so. So you're saying this is nothing but political vendetta with months to go for the elections in Telangana. The BJP yeah. in Telangana, ma'am, Bandi Sanjay and several other leaders have said you're next. You're going to be arrested by the central agency. Well, this is the unfortunate state of affairs in this country where a political party is dictating who should be arrested next to the agencies. And if agencies are blindly following that, then they themselves are exposing the nexus that opposition is alleging, that there is a clear nexus between the agencies and the government and whatever the political party in ruling is saying that they are blindly doing. And I'll show you an example. Congress party was holding a adivation in Raipur the other day. And just a day before that, all their MLAs are raided in Congress in Chhattisgarh, and their trains are being stopped, power being cut, etc. What, what have we come to as a nation? You can't a political party even hold a meeting. Why should you have to disturb even a meeting? So what, what is the government afraid of? People meeting and talking, if they're afraid of even that, then that really shows their insecurity, not ours. We are strong. We are sincere. We have not done anything wrong. So we are welcoming the probe. Let, them, let there be probe. But the, the, the BJP party's machinery works to malign people's reputations, not by probing, but then giving away leaks, giving away various nasty news. They use toolkits to constantly malign people. Yesterday, at least, we found out 400 to 500 handles on Twitter for just tweeting same content over and over and over again. So one lie, if it is repeated like a thousand times, that is that is a concept I believe Bharti Janta Party is following. But we are not yeah. afraid. We will expose what they are doing and we will work very hard to convince people that we've done nothing wrong, but this is political vendetta.